I guess so. All right. Presuming in jet. Let's so it looks like it. we're getting right into it. I respect it. Shows you're not afraid. So Jets Falcon is actually insane. He, <laughs> he like. And I am definitely biased, so you're gonna have to understand. Oh well, as I say that, he kills himself. Jets Falcon is actually insane. <laughs> Maybe he's just. <laughs> oh, I, okay, you know what? Everything. I, he's just trying to prove me wrong. Well, I mean, ins insane is one word for it. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it's okay because but... Kazumi's Marth is insane too. <laughs> <laughs> We're All right. both just out of their minds right now. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, so he's opening up with these. He's just kneeing and stomping in neutral. Yeah. But I mean, I guess if either of them hit, that's a combo starter. Exactly. Or a kill I, move. He um, he's really good at reading movement and uh, just putting you in pressure situations where you get to choose your own fate, kind of. Yeah. Um. Oh <laughs> my gosh, I don't know what he's doing. I, he's I actually I know it, what he's dude. doing. He's trying to tilt. Kazumi, he's trying to get him to be scared. And oh, so this is actually like super advanced mental. It stuff. is, yeah. He he's he's definitely a more the stage. destructive that player. So that was good. Yeah, that was a good edge guard. He's just rinse and repeat. Yeah. Forward smashes. It's, it's this really strong. Interesting, just because Mars one of the best at edge guarding in the game, and Falcon has a really bad. Oh, that was a knee. He, sh he just needs to jump for that knee, man. Yeah, it can also be difficult for Marth because, oh. you know, Falcon's got that drift. If you mess up one spacing move, then Falcon's right on top of yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. So move. it's, you know, you gotta, you definitely have to play precise in this matchup as Marth. Because Falcon basically just to like, never mind, I can't say that on screen. But he, he gets to just have his way with, um, <laughs> have his way with Marth, it feels like. He, That's he's hot. just so much faster. Oh. Good forward He's, kill. Oh man. He might clean up this edge this guard. Really good oh, edge guarding. The stop. Wow. No meteor cancel. Mm -hmm. I think. I don't know. He's probably expecting it, so he kind of just gave up. Yeah. He, he didn't think like uh, I need to like. Well, I know that's right not here. what I was expecting. Yeah. So it's. Oh, uh, this neutral game is interesting. Two because stop three. Oh, he oh, goes man. for the fourth. <laughs> this falcon. All right, let's see if he can make this edge guard. Uh, if, if, uh, oh man. Oh, that it, that air dodge was scary, but it was good. Yeah, it's he, man. So one thing that he does really he, well. That's, oh, that's not a, a trade you want to take. No, what yeah. are you saying? One thing that Jet does really well is edge guard, or not edge guard, is uh, air dodge. Excuse me. Um, back onto the ledge, and that's not a common option that you see a lot. It's really unsafe, but because you don't see it ever, that's what makes it good. Is yeah. no one expects it. They uh, they ban Prince Star Depths <laughs> and understandably. Tech. All right, so Kazumi counterpicks to Yoshi's. I can see it from Marth. You just want kind of those random tippers that'll kill at 40. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he um, he probably feels like he needs to control more space around him. Yeah. He doesn't have as many options to get around his sword, but it's. I don't know, there's an, there's an equation that he's been following, and uh, maybe changing one variable is all he needs, so yeah. it's, it's kind of hard to say. Oh, this, this is really good pressure, but, I mean, yeah, he once he hits the ground, it's like, if you don't grab, uh, all you have is up tilt, and people love that up tilt. Yeah, so I've been watching Jet's Falcon. And very rarely is Jet ever moving away from his opponent. No, what? Very rarely is Jet moving away from his opponent. Yeah, He's no, he... He's always running towards you, trying to put on that pressure, trying to force you to make a decision. Because if mm. Falcon's running at you, you need to decide what you're going to do. And that's what he wants. Yeah, exactly. Like... He's not playing for a JV5, that's for sure. He's, yeah. He definitely wants to be in your face, and if he gets hit, but he can crouch cancel it or something, and then just combo you off of it, it's obviously worth it. It's like sacrificing a pawn in chess so you can get a knight or a exactly. rook or something. All right, he reads that neutral get up against the tipper. That was really good. He opens it up with the stomp, but doesn't really get anything off of it. So right now they're just trying to get his each other out. oh man that's a good okay. tipper all right i've got a match so okay i'm gonna step off all right cool good luck he just totally rejected my fist bump sorry you didn't see it um hopefully someone else can come because i don't i don't know if i fully 
trust my single commentary abilities, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. So, I play with these guys. Uh, I play with Jet on a regular basis, and um, so I know a lot about him. I'll be able to tell you a lot about his playstyle, but I don't know if I want to do that giveaway secrets and stuff. Um, and I'm just I'm gonna commentate the way that I feel like I, I like commentary, which is it's not so much about exactly what they're doing. It doesn't really make sense to me. It's like when they played baseball matches or like when they had baseball matches on the radio. It's like yeah, you want to hear what they're doing because you can't see it, but you can watch what they're doing. And like maybe I'll share tidbits of knowledge that you didn't see or something that I noticed, but just like straight out saying what they're doing doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It's a visual game. It's just a video game. Alright, so, I don't know how to say Kazumi, Kazumi is up, obviously, and uh, right now he's just looking to expand his lead. He's trying to not get comboed, and he's trying to really box him out, so that way you can pressure him into the corner and just kill him. Oh, that was a good knee. He, um, he's just fast, man. He just likes to be on top of you. Mm, it's a clean combo. Randall here to save the day. Randall the homie. Let's see if we can get off this. Not much. Um, so yeah, they're just trying to get each other in a more end, but oh man, that was crazy. It was a good time. And does the same thing to him. <laughs> I don't know if they're trying to like say I'm better than you to each other or they're just they just want to end it. Oh my gosh. That was actually really close. That was really good at Kazumi for not batting an eye and uh, just hitting him out of it. That was smart. And uh, that's it. Bad DI. Not bad DI, I just he just got him. So uh, it's 2-0. I'll change that. Flashy keyboard, that's cool. I don't know if these commentators are right. It doesn't matter. No one really cares about the commentators. Most people who review their sets anyways, they probably turn off the, the commentators. I feel bad that I, can, I don't really have a lot to offer, but... Maybe I can tell some bad puns and stuff. Make it more entertaining. Hmm. So it brings him to FOD. That's, that's an interesting pick. I mean... I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't feel like people... I don't feel like Falcon is as bad as people say he is on this stage. They've, I think they do a really good job of manipulating platforms now, um, especially with shield dropping and stuff. And it's it's hard if the other player is faster than you on this stage because um, they can just move around the platforms a lot better than you. And you know, Kazumi has definitely has the more. I mean, it's slower, but that's because of the strategy that he he likes to play. He just likes to hit you as little times as possible, if that makes sense. How does it not lose his quarters? I'm not paying attention to that. That's the people who run the tournament's jobs. Thanks for being the only person talking in chat, just Kerrigan. I don't know if I pronounced your name right, but... Um... Cool to see people supporting Utah Smash. It's uh, I've been in the scene for a couple of years. I haven't really been like super serious in it and stuff, but it's definitely gotten a lot bigger. Um, how much? Just enjoying some melee, watching my good friend play. It's always fun. But um, it's gotten a lot bigger. I feel like there's a lot more people playing Smash, and um, you know, I'm excited. We have the that major coming up, which is pretty cool. Utah's never had a major before, so um, totally exciting. And if there's anyone from Utah who hasn't registered, you should register really soon because it's getting really expensive to do that. So that was a good knee. He just read his get up attack. When you're when you're feeling pressured, you definitely you definitely want to get up attack a lot because you just feel like you want to get them off of you. But I mean, they know that, so why would you do that? Um, oh man, that was a good trade. It's, it's so hard to commentate and be like, and not be like, oh yes, that's that's smart because of this. Oh man, he almost got the dustless dash dance. That was really fast. It's yeah. So right now, Jet has the momentum, so that means that you know he's 
in Kazumi's head and he's trying to basically he's manipulating him into playing scared and but I mean Kazumi I feel like the people that he plays with makes him really good against that kind of style where he, he maybe he's a little bit outclassed I wouldn't say outmatched but just like he's not as fast and so um, he knows how to handle that and I feel like they're they're like two types of players where they're born I mean, they're like they're they're equal, but then one just like takes off and is super fast, and then the other one has to learn how to play against that. So it's like two different types. That was really good. The the up air, the weak up air into knee. Uh, that was really smart because he didn't just knee. He